Welcome to this demonstration of a 5mm thick floor plate model, reinforced with 40 by 4 angles. The plate is shown in red, while the angles appear in green. We will analyze its behavior under a uniformly distributed load of 5 kN per square meter, in addition to its self-weight. However, we still need to ensure a connection between the plate and the underlying angles, and also define the support conditions. To achieve this connection, we'll create rigid body constraints between each pair of joints. Rather than adding hundreds of separate body constraints or rigid links, we'll use the weld property, which requires setting a proper tolerance distance. In this case, the weld tolerance should be at least the distance between the plate and each angle, but not so large that it merges unrelated joints. We'll set the weld tolerance to 5 mm. Then assign it to all the joint pairs that must be connected. Finally, we'll define the supports. We want a simply supported plate, so we'll support the plate's joints at both ends of the span. Because some joints are already constrained, we'll apply joint springs instead of restraints to avoid conflicts. On one side, we'll fix all three translational directions. and on the opposite side, we will only fix the vertical direction. Once that's in place, we're ready to run the analysis. We will take a look at the results for this ultimate limit state load combination. Here is the deformed shape for the ultimate limit state. We can also display the von Mises stresses. And if we examine the F11 forces, We see compression in the mid-span of the plate and tension in the angle's web, as expected from their combined behavior. That was all for this video.